हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली वेल सो वी आर एट अराइजर टैलेंट एंड वी आर ऑन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ अवर क्लास टेंथ केमिस्ट्री दैट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशन सो अंटिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स रिगार्डिंग दिस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एडिशन रिमूवल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन वी कैन वी हैव ऑल्सो लर्न इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव और इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव एलिमेंट हाउ द इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एंड इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव एलिमेंट मस्ट बी एडेड और रिमूव इन द केस एंड वी हैव गोन थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स इन विच ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन टेक प्लेस साइमल्टेनियसली एंड दीज रिएक्शन आर बेसिकली टर्म एज टर्म एज रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन सो नाउ वी आर ऑन अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज वेलेंसी ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर और ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सो अवर टू डेज टॉपिक इज वेलेंसी ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर एंड ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सो अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेलेंसी ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर एंड ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स वन बाय वन सो फर्स्टली आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेलेंसी हैव यू अवर हर्ड अबाउट वेलेंसी हैव यू अवर हर्ड अबाउट द टर्म वेलेंसी वेलेंसी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट मीन्स कंबाइनिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट सो वॉट बेसिकली द वेलेंसी इज वेलेंसी बेसिकली मीन्स कंबाइनिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट so how many atoms are combined with any element it will tell us about the combining capacity valency also tell us about the number of hydrogen bonds with other element so it will also tell us about number of hydrogen bonds with other elements now what does valency more signifies it tell us about the how many number of electrons are shared removed or gain in an atom so it will tell us about the number of electrons gain lose or shared fourthly it will tell us about the number of atoms or the number of bonds which are formed in a particular type of the element so it will tell us about the number of bonds in chemical equation so these are the four basic characteristics of the valency which differentiated it with the term oxidation number so these are the basic points this is all about valency now valency is a pure number without carrying any positive or negative charge on it so valency of an element is a pure number so actually the valency is valency is pure number without any positive or negative sign so this is the important point about the valency that it is a pure number and it does not carry any type of positive or negative sign on it now we are coming to our next term that is equal to oxidation number or oxidation state now what actually the oxidation state is oxidation state is a charge or in the particular ion or element if all the other atoms are removed from that substance so there is a one basic difference between valency and oxidation state that is valency do not carry any charge on it but the oxidation state or oxidation number is always represented by some sign so 
Our next term is oxidation state, but before you can copy it from here. Now we are on our next term that is oxidation state. So what we have discussed till now, we have discussed about valency. Now we are on our next term that is oxidation number and oxidation state. So our next topic is oxidation number and state. Oxidation number is basically the charge on an atom or ion when all the other atoms are removed from that compound. So it is actually charge on ion or atom when all other atoms are So it will represent the charge on an atom but without having all other atoms in a molecule. Now valency will be a pure number without any sign on it and oxidation number will be represented by a positive sign or negative sign. So the another significance of the oxidation number is it is represented by positive sign or negative sign. So this is the another quick significance of the oxidation number that it can be represented by a positive sign or negative sign. So it is another significance. Now the third significance of the oxidation state or oxidation number is it can also be zero. It means oxidation state can be calculated as 0 also. So this is the third significance of the oxidation number. So the, here are the basic differences which differentiate between the valency and oxidation state of a number. Now we will know more about the oxidation state with the help of an example and able to understand that what actually the difference between the valency and oxidation state. So we will take an example now. Firstly, I am considering an example of potassium iodide. So, the, for the potassium iodide, we have a symbol that is Ki. As we have seen in our previous lecture, the potassium will carry a plus 1 of positive charge and chlorine will have a bit of negative charge. So I can write it as K having positive charge and I will having negative charge. So plus charge and minus charge will be the oxidation state of that number that is potassium will having a plus 1 oxidation state and iodine will have a minus 1 oxidation state. But if I talk in terms of the valency, their valency will be the 1 and 1. So the 1 and 1 will be without any sign. It indicates that valency is a pure number. So oxidation state of potassium is plus 1 and oxidation state of iodine is minus 1. So this is a basic example to learn about the oxidation state. We have considered an example of potassium iodide. Now we have our second example. We have our second example and our second example will be of the aluminium oxide. 
we have our example number two that is aluminium oxide now the formula for aluminium oxide will be al2o3 so it means al is having a plus 3 charge and oxygen will have a charge of minus 2 aluminium will having a plus 3 charge and oxygen will have a minus 2 charge so if i talk in terms of the valency the valency is 3 and 2 but if i keep understanding about the oxidation state the oxidation state of aluminium is plus 3 and for oxygen it is minus 2 but we are provided with two atoms of oxygen so its oxidation number is oxidation number of aluminium is 2 into 3 that is equal to 6 so the oxidation state will be 6 so here are the two basic examples to differentiate between uh, valency and oxidation state now we will take few more examples to understand the valency and oxidation state but firstly you can copy it from here now our next example is Our next examples are we have taken compounds of carbon. So, our example is compounds of carbon. So, in the form of carbon, we have many compounds. Our first compound is methane. So, our first compound is methane and for the methane we have a formula that is equal to CH4. Now I am considering my second compound here. The second compound we have is carbon tetrachloride. For carbon tetrachloride we have a formula that is equal to CCl4. Now, we have our third compound and the third compound here is chloroform and the formula for chloroform is CHCl3. Next, we are on our fourth compound, fourth compound I am writing here, fourth compound is methane chloride and the formula for this will be CHCl2. We have our last compound that is compound number fifth and the compound number fifth is methylene chloride. And for the methylene chloride, we have a formula CH2Cl2. Now, we have taken a different compounds for carbon. And what we want to identify, we have to identify the number of valency and the oxidation state in each case. So, what we will do here, firstly, I am talking about the valency. Valency means combining capacity of an element. So, in case of methane, 
carbon has an ability to combine with four hydrogen atoms so the if i talk in terms of valency valency of carbon here is 4 now take an example for carbon tetrachloride if we talk about valency valency of carbon tetrachloride will be 4 if i talk about chloroform again valency of carbon in this case will be 4 because carbon is single and chlorine and hydrogen are 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4. Now consider this case again valency here is 4. Now coming to our next case that is methylene chloride valency here is 4. So what we have observed in all these 4 5 cases that the valency will remain constant throughout it means carbon is having a valency of 4 so generally i can write carbon having valency that is equal to 4 so it means carbon will having a valency of 4 now what we have to talk about next topic we have to calculate the oxidation state of all these kind of element so we must be able to differentiate between valency and oxidation state so now we will calculate the oxidation state of these elements so our next topic is oxidation state if i'm going to calculate the oxidation state of carbon over here I have to remove all other elements. So, I am considering carbon as x plus 4 into 1 equal to 0. I will get x equal to minus 4. It means minus 4 will be the oxidation state of ca carbon in case of methane. Now, what we, we will going to calculate? We want to calculate the oxidation state of carbon again we will write carbon as x chlorine as 4 as we know that chlorine is an electronegative element carrying a charge of minus 1 equal to 0 it means x minus 4 equal to 0 we will get x equal to 4 this will be the oxidation state in case of the carbon tetrachloride now we are coming on our next compound that is chloroform so for chloroform again we will calculate the valency carbon having x hydrogen is having 1 chlorine equal to 3 into minus 1 equal to 0 what we will get here x plus 1 minus 3 equal to 0 x minus 2 equal to 0 x equal to 2 so again the oxidation coming here is 2 now Coming to our next case, we have CHCl2 and I have to calculate the oxidation state here. The oxidation state will be carbon having x, hydrogen having 1, chlorine equal to 2 into minus 1 equal to 0 and what we will get here, x is equal to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. Now, Proceeding to our next case, we have to calculate the oxidation of the methylene chloride. So, considering the case of methylene chloride, we have carbon X, hydrogen 2 into 1 plus chlorine 2 into minus 1. So, what we will get in this equation? X plus 2 minus 2 equal to 0 and X is equal to 0. So, the oxidation state will be 0 in this case. So, apart from valency that is equal to 4 in case of carbon, I have calculated the oxidation state of each element here. I will, I have got, got the oxidation of methane equal to plus 4, minus 4. In case of carbon tetrachloride, we have oxidation state 4. In case of chloroform, we have got x equal to 2. In case of methane chloride, we have got x equal to 1. And in case of methylene chloride, we have x equal to 0. So, what you have observed in all these cases, the oxidation state of an element may vary from minus 4 to 4. It means carbon is having a valency of 4 and oxidation state between minus 4 to 4. 
so in short we can say that valency of carbon is 4 and oxidation state varies from minus 4 to 4. So, this will be about the valency of valency and oxidation state of the carbon. So, this is the valency that is from minus 4 to 4 and this will be the oxidation state is from minus 4 to 4 and the valency will be 4. So, this is the basic difference to understand the difference between the valency and oxidation state. Now, we are proceeding to our next topic that what are the categories of the classification of oxidation and reduction. But before you can copy it from here. So, students now we are dealing with our next topic that is modern concept of oxidation and reduction. So, we have the two methods here. So, our next topic is modern concept of oxidation and reduction. Now, before starting modern concept of oxidation and reduction, we are back to a previous topic that what are, the, what are the previous method of oxidation and reduction. Simply, oxidation and reduction are basically termed as addition of oxygen or addition of hydrogen if I talk in terms about, about addition. But if I uh, am concerning about the terms of removal, in case of oxidation, there is a removal of hydrogen. But in the case of hydrogen, this case will be vice versa that is there is a removal of oxygen. Now, we are considering our third category that is on the addition of electronegative element. In case of oxygen oxidation, electronegative element is always added but in case of reduction, there is an addition of electropositive element. So, in case of oxidation, electronegative element is added, electropositive element is removed but in case of reduction, electronegative element is removed and electropositive element is being added. So, these are the previous methods of oxidation and reduction. Now, we are going to deal with our modern concept of oxidation and reduction. So, in modern concept, we have two categories that is our first category is electronic concept and the second category is oxidation number concept. Now, we will analyze both these methods one by one. So, firstly, we are on the electronic concept and I will give you the general description of the electronic concept, what actually happens in this. In case of electronic concept, there will be addition of electron or ion. On the other hand, there will be the opposite phenomena that is removal of electron or ion. So, firstly, we will deal with our first category that is addition of the electron and second one removal of electron. So, we will discuss these two categories one by one now. Then we will proceed to our next concept that is oxidation number concept. So, our first concept is electronic concept. So, what happens in case of the oxidation? 
देयर विल बी द लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम एन आयन और एटम सो वी मे से दैट आयन और इलेक्ट्रॉन इज लूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज डी इलेक्ट्रोनेशन सो इन केस ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन firstly i am considering oxidation so what happens in case of the oxidation there is a loss of atom electron or ion from element and this loss is basically termed as deelectronation so in case of oxidation there is always a lose of electron or ion so the loss of the electron or ion occur in this case there is a loss of atom electron or ion so d means there is a deficiency of electron so we may call this term as d electronation so this is all about oxidation now what happens in case of the oxidation we will take an example and understand it, it with the help of an example how cation is an added and ion is added or about the molecule so you can copy it from here so we can proceed to our next topic so in case of oxidation we have our four categories we have our first category that is equal to addition of atom so what will happen in case of the addition of an atom we have an example na will be formed by having Na plus electron. This is our first example. Now we are on our second example. That is, Ca plus two will be formed after losing two electrons. So we have two plus here. Calcium will be formed after losing two electrons. so what we have seen in this example if i am considering about addition of an atom we have provided with sodium and calcium so sodium and calcium are formed by losing two electrons so the loss of the electron is termed as oxidation so these are the examples of oxidation now we are on our next example that is addition of cation if i am talking about addition of cation there must be some positive charge that will be going to add in the atom so we have an example in this category our next example is plus 2 electrons sn plus 2 will be formed by having sn plus 4 plus 2 electrons so in case of the category of the cation oxidation of the ion will occur only when there will be a loss of electron we can also say it oxidation of ion and we can also say this as a oxidation of atom now we are on our third category that is oxidation of ion that is anion so our third category is 
oxidation of iron that is anion now in case of anion what we will do we will consider an example for chlorine cl minus gives cl2 plus 2 electrons anion is having a negative charge on it so this will be formed after losing of two electrons now coming to our next category we have our last category that is oxidation of molecule our last category is oxidation of molecule so what happens in the case of molecule there will be a loss of electron from molecule only so molecule we have consider as a example is 2h2s so 2h2s will give 2h plus s2 minus ions so this will be the oxidation reaction for molecule so here we have discussed the four cases regarding oxidation first we have consider the oxidation of atom second case we have oxidation of cation third category we have oxidation of anion and the last category is oxidation of molecule so these characterization will be on the basis of the modern concept that is electronic concept now this lecture is over for today we will deal with reduction in our next topic thank you so much and have a nice day